worship you, Jesus. There is no one like you. you the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Higher than any other name. Come on, put your hands together. We want to declare that the name of Jesus is higher than any other name. We lift his name higher over any circumstance, over any situation. We have been looking at being still, and one of the ways that we can be still is by trusting and obeying God. Uh, what, what is to, strive, to trust? To trust is to have a firm belief in someone. A belief that is not shakable, a belief that is not change, changeable. This is how God wants us to, to be with Him. God wants us to trust in Him, to obey in Him, to allow Him to lead us. In, in whichever path that he wants us to, to take him at. Trusting in God calls for us to have our faith in him. Obeying God calls us to have our faith in him. And to, and to just relax because he's got it. Turn with me in the book of Isaiah 26, verse 3 to 4. The word of God says, You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast. Because he trusts in you, trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord is the rock. The word of God says that uh, we need to be focused and committed in him. Having hope and confidence in God, that means we trust in him. He is our fortress, he is our shield, he is our banner. He is the rock of ages. We also told about... Uh, Trusting God in, with all our hearts. And this is, we find this in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. The Lord is asking us to lean on Him. I mean, to trust in Him. We should never lean on our own understanding. Because our understanding will lie to, our, to us. Our understanding will lead us to a path that is not right. But when we trust in the Lord and, and just rest in Him, He says that in all our ways we acknowledge Him and He will make our, our path straight. He will make our path smooth. He will remove any obstacle. Uh, trusting in God means that we have faith in Him. It also means that it is an act of obedience. It is also it also shows that it also shows our love towards God. 
it is not an easy thing to trust and obey God because most of the time we want to, to have control of things. We want to, to know the next step. We don't want to just uh, be still. But God is asking us to be still. He's asking us to trust Him and to obey Him. Uh, in the, the Word of God uh, talks about men of God who trusted and obeyed God. Abraham is one of them. He's even called a friend of God. We, we know the story of Noah. He trusted and obeyed God, even when it didn't make sense that he trusted and obeyed God. And not the same way, he walked with God. So how much more, how much more will we enjoy when we trust God and we just obey Him? The Lord of God commands command us to obey Him. So this morning, I want to invite you. Is your faith shaken? Have you lost hope? This morning, I want to encourage you that when you put your hope in God, when you trust in God, when you allow Him to lead you, He will make your life straight. He will hold you, He will guide you in the right direction. It is not an evil journey, but with God, everything is possible. Join me in this prayer. Our Lord and Savior, we thank you, we honor you, and we bless your name. Lord, you have asked us to trust and obey you. And this morning, we want to ask you, Lord, to strengthen our faith. We want to ask you, Lord, to, to help us to know you, Lord. To help us, Lord, to, to rest in you, dear Father. You have asked us not to trust in our own understanding. We should not trust in our own insight, dear Father. But we should look up to you, we should trust you, we should rely on you, dear Father. We should obey you, dear Lord. And God, when this journey is difficult, dear Father, I pray that you may remind us that you hold us, dear Father. You are not going to let us, dear Father, to be destroyed, dear Lord. But we should just trust in you, we should just rest in you, because God, you who created us, you who, who formed us, dear Father, you know us, dear Lord, you know our hearts, dear Father, and you shall make them straight, dear Lord. You shall remove any obstacle our ways, dear Father. So this morning we ask you, Lord, to to hold us, dear Father. God, most of us have lost hope, dear Father. Our faith has been shaken because of one thing or another, dear Lord. And at times the enemy speaks and negative words, dear Father. And at times we have doubted you, dear Lord. We ask that you forgive us, dear Father. Forgive us, dear Father, for doubting your word. Forgive us for not trusting and obeying you, dear Lord. Father, may you help us to walk with you, dear Lord. May you help us to, to read your word and to to pray, dear Father, because the more we read your word, the more we have an understanding of you, dear Father. The more we love to, to be in your presence, dear Lord. Oh God, remember us as your children, dear Father. Remember us, dear Lord. And God, I lift any burden that any any of your child is carrying, dear Lord. We leave, we leave it at the cross, dear Father. We leave it at the cross, dear Lord. God, I pray that you may work in our hearts, dear Lord. That we shall learn how to trust you, we shall learn how to obey you, dear Father. Even when it doesn't make sense, dear Lord. Because God, we knew, we knew, Father, things are made right, like, dear Lord. We knew this peace, we knew this rest, dear Lord. We honor you and we bless you, dear Father. In Jesus' name I pray, believe in and trust in you. Amen, amen. As we end this devotion, I'd like to leave you with this uh, song that we used to sing when we were very young. Uh, trust and obey for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus when you trust and obey. So if you want to be happy in Jesus, trust and obey. Amen. You have a beautiful day. You know that the Lord loves you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I have another name. Come on, declare it. King of all kings. No other name like him. Of Jesus, I am another name. Oh, I'll find no maker. I'm gonna see it again. The name of Jesus, I am another name. Oh, King of all kings.